Anytime you see a guy like Desmond Ritter, who's 6'4", a good athlete, can definitely run with the football, uh, has a good throwing motion, and you know definitely can throw off balance, you get excited when watching his tape. The issue, well, there are some issues. And some of it is the offense didn't let him show off his talents too much. Uh, some of it was I thought that there was sort of inconsistent zip on the football at times. He did throw a lot of put a lot of air under the, the ball when he threw a deep ball. He's clearly visually skinny at only 216 despite being 64. He also will miss some throws and part of that is due to his poor footwork. He will occasionally get tunnel vision and quite frankly for a guy who's 64, a lot of his passes seem to get tipped. There's definitely things to get excited about with Ritter. There's also things to get concerned about with him. And that's why, you know, him, like every quarterback in this draft class, has clear pros and cons. Let's talk about all of those. Like here, starting off with this, this is something I, I talked about a little bit. Uh, the accuracy, he missed some throws. He did. And I don't think anyone in this draft class was incredibly accurate. Uh, I did see some missed throws from Ritter, just like I saw some missed throws with everybody. It's going to be man coverage. And you see the, this route uh, going towards the top of the screen, towards Ritter's right. As you see, right when this play begins, it's Ritter's first read. It's not a difficult read. There is a window where you can make this throw. Uh, so it's not the easiest throw in the world, but these are throws at the NFL level you do have to make consistently. As you see, Ritter does make this throw just a bit high, uh, and it is not going to be complete there. So, you know, a little bit of accuracy issues. Th that was something that I... I noticed on tape, I did, is I saw that there were some issues with him missing throws. Like here, here's another one, just, you know, just showing I'm not, it's not just one example. Yeah, it's a couple missed throws. Okay, not the end of the world. Again, accuracy, I don't believe, is the most important trait with a quarterback. I think that there are more different traits that you see tend to display a, a better example of what I'm trying to say is that there's certain traits that, you know, the trends will tell you can be better in indicators of who's going to be successful at the NFL level. So like, for example, something like high football IQ or having a big arm, those tend to actually uh, be better indicators than accuracy. That's just what the what, what my research has told me. And like going over to a play like this, there are clear examples of him doing a pretty good job at running an offense. So again, I'm not some Ritter basher by any means. There's some good stuff on his tape, and this is an example. It, it's sort of simpler stuff. And again, that's what I said about the offense itself. I just felt like it, it wasn't a great offense to really allow himself to uh, kind of showcase his talents as much. That's kind of what I thought. A lot of it was more simple stuff like this, where you see the concept and how, you know, with the zone coverage, the slot receiver going over the middle, getting more people to, to follow him, and then the plus receiver uh, can get open in that gap in coverage. That's how this play can work. Uh, it's a simple concept, but still. Ritter takes the snap, and he's going to look downfield. Uh, again, even kind of looks over the middle first before looking to his read. That's good. You like seeing guys who are willing to take their eyes you know, away from where they're trying to throw the football. Uh, and you see that there is a window where he can make this throw. Timing is going to be important here, but Ritter does time it well, and he puts it right on the money, and they're able to pick up a first down on that play. So I saw this stuff, and this is good, and this is stuff that you like to see, is him being able to just make the... The, the throws that you want him to make. Now, this is another thing that I, I did see on tape, which is, you know, I, I saw him put too much air under the football at times. I did. This is definitely something that you that you notice. Watch how right when this play begins, you see that Ritter is going to run the play action. And in fairness, and this is something that is worth mentioning, and, and I want to be clear, he did make some good deep balls as well. Both were true. But you see that, you know, there's pressure coming right now, and he's going to have to throw off his back foot a little bit. That's something that's definitely true. And so look at how, A, the plus is look at how far he gets it down the field. The negative is I still feel like there was a bit mu too much air under it. So, uh... This is this is kind of, you know, it's a good and bad example. He has the arm talent, and I've seen it's actually very Drew Locke-like. In fact, I saw a lot of comparisons to him and Drew Locke, which sounds like a negative. I don't know if it's that big of a negative because Locke wasn't a horrible prospect either. Again, just because Locke didn't work out doesn't mean a similar prospect like Ritter also won't work out. But Locke's a guy who can clearly throw it a long way, but just had the inconsistencies of the, it seemed like sometimes he would just laser it when he should have put more air under it. Sometimes, sometimes he would put more air under it when he should laser it, stuff like that. So I see that with Ritter as well. And again, maybe this isn't the best example. He had to throw off his back foot. He still got the ball 50 yards down the field, so I'm not mad at the throw whatsoever. And it wasn't like, it's not a lollipop like you'll see some of these other guys do, right? It's still better than, I think, some 
people that uh, he might get compared to. So it's not the end of the world. Just kind of maybe a, a nitpick, maybe more than anything, just so you know exactly how I feel about it. There's also something like this where I think literally every single quarterback in this draft class has this issue, but Ritter is someone who has this issue picking up blitzes. You see right here, there's a blitz coming. Again, for a college quarterback, I don't expect you to be perfect at understanding the protections, figuring out exactly how to protect yourself immediately. You're young and, you know, Ritter is 22, so I'm not, you know, he's younger than some of these other guys as well, so I'm okay with him not being the best at this. But as you see, he just holds on to the football despite the fact that there is a blitz, ends up getting not just sacked, but he loses the football on top of it. Not ideal. It just isn't. You would have liked to see him get rid of the football quicker there, or at least be prepared to get rid of the football quicker there. Like, again, for a young guy, if he just took the sack, I wouldn't have even minded that because it tells me that he's at least learning this stuff and picking it up. And again, like I said, literally every quarterback has this issue. As in every quarterback of this draft, not every quarterback in the NFL, of course. But it's still, it, just because other guys also have this issue doesn't make it not an issue for Ritter. Also, let's talk about this play now. Because, again, a lot of what I'm showing are negatives. This has mostly been a negative uh, video, which I didn't mean it to be. I didn't intend that to be the case. It's just kind of how that worked out. The more things I had to talk about tend to be on the negative side instead of the positive side. But I don't hate him as a prospect. I just think he's sort of a very toolsy prospect where I didn't think his tape was maybe as good as what his talent level might be. And like this is a good example where right when this play begins, you see how there's pressure. So he's going to have to throw off his back foot. And this is kind of something that like I talked about again with the Drew Locke comparisons of for Drew Locke, he constantly had this poor footwork and I kept saying man that's going to come back to bite him but then it really didn't in a lot of ways in some ways it did but for the most part like he was making these off balance throws and like being you know uh getting completions on them so at least sort of underneath stuff and that's kind of I guess how I feel about Ritter it's like okay this footwork isn't great I mean and part of it is from the pressure not the actual like it's not, you know, this play is more so from pressure than him just being lazy with it. Other plays he had kind of just not had it exactly the way you would like it. But that being said, look at how he still puts one right on the money. I mean, it gets intercepted, but that wasn't Ritter's fault. Uh, it was a really good throw from Ritter. And that's kind of why I'm a little bit more willing to forgive some of his errors because I think some of his errors are fixable. Okay, failing to pick up a blitz, not great. That's fixable. Okay, learning touch on a deep pass, that's fixable. Learning footwork, that's fixable. But the question is, are all of those things going to happen? And that's why he's not the best prospect. But again, as everyone keeps saying, no quarterback this draft class is the best prospect. So that's why I have some conflicting feelings about Ritter. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on all of this? Am I being too hard on him? Because again, I don't hate him as a prospect by any means. I think sort of late first round pick, early second round pick feels about his range for me. That's what I think. But I want to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.